The link trainer explains how the controls are operated and what effect their movements have upon a plane in the air. In the link trainer, preliminary instruction in instrument flying is given. The student practices straight and level flying, normal turns, climbing and gliding turns, stalls and spins, and flying a course on the radio beam. Then comes the work on an actual plane. The Army pilot must know how to take the best possible care of his airplane. The greatest care means the greatest safety later in the air. One of the most important parts of the student's training is learning how the plane operates and how it responds to the controls. The flyer must understand every part of an airplane's assembly from the propeller to the rudder. After many hours of preliminary training, the student gets his first chance to fly. On first flights, the plane is always equipped with dual controls and an instructor goes along to guide him. At the end of 8 to 11 hours of flying with dual controls, the instructor can determine when the young bird is capable of making a flight alone. Now, he's ready for the thrill of a lifetime, his first solo flight. from the rest of the squadron. The student gets the feel of the sky with the greatest possible safety. There's a perfect three-point landing to his credit. Couldn't be better. Months more of practice and the young flyer has earned the right to fly one of the Army's famous P-26A pursuit planes, the harnessed hornet of the air. Now he's a top-notch pilot and flying is easy because he knows his plane and how to control it for safety.